Uh, hey guys, welcome back to Warframe, and this is Morrison, and I'll be doing a brief tutorial on how to upgrade your mods and fuse them together, and then after that, a what the foundry's for and how to use blueprints to make shiny new weapons. So, in a previous tutorial, we mentioned how to equip your different mods to your battle frame, and we talked about the different, like, notches on the card, and what they mean, and everything. Uh, one thing we did not mention, however, or didn't really go into detail about, was these little black notches on the left side of the card, in the center. Now what those indicate is what level your skill is at, and what its max level is. So if you look on these skills, every skill you find in the game, to begin with, will be at level zero, and that's indicated by all black notches. And as you level them up, for every level you get, one of the black notches will fill up with a white one, indicating what level it is at. Like this one is level 1, this one's level 4, and this one's level 0. The black notches also serve to show you what the max level your skill will ever achieve is. So my shock will only ever be able to reach level 3. Which is unfortunate, but such is life. So, yeah, um, that's... As, as your skill levels up, obviously, it, give, it costs more mod points, but it also, in exchange, gives you a better, um, better stats. So, like, a level 0 vitality gives me 50% health, but the one I'm using right now, the, force, the level 4 one, gives me 250% health. So that is how the leveling system works. Now, as for the mods... The way you fuse a mod is you go into the mod list screen and you hunt down whatever skill it is that you want to level up. In this case, I'm going to level up... Oh, uh, what should I level up? I guess Flechette. So sort whatever... Sort however it makes it easier to find it and pick the skill that you want to upgrade. In this case, Flechette. And uh, hit Fusion. Now, this is the skill that will um, that will get improved. There's no combining of skills or anything, as the name Fusion implies. It's just this skill that its stats will increase, so I'll get more armor piercing for shotgun rounds if I ever chose to equip this. Now, after you've selected the skill to fuse, you select any number of other skills to um, fill up this little bar over here. And this bar pretty much works like an EXP meter, in which every skill you select will be destroyed in order for this to fill. Now there's a number of things that affect how much EXP a skill will get when it's broken down into whatever material is being used to improve the other one. And the first thing is rarity. Common things give crap for EXP, rares give a lot, and uncommons give a decent amount. That's the first thing. The other thing depends on what type of skill this this card is. In this case, this is for shotguns. The thing that will give the most EXP towards this is the same skill. See, if I cl if I just sacrifice one other flechette, it's almost an instant level up because they're both the same level and yada yada. Skills that are relating to shotguns will also give quite a bit. And then other things like melee. See, even though it's an uncommon, it doesn't fill it very much. Rifle skill doesn't give very much. A Warframe skill doesn't give very much. So keep that in mind when you're sacrificing your skills. That you pick ones that'll that you don't just break all of your skills just to level something up. Unless you they're crap skills and you have no intention of using them. Like, um, if you're, you only use shotguns and you don't want to use your rifle skill, go ahead, get rid of all your magazine warps. Because they're not helping you out, none. So yeah, once you've selected the skill you're going to destroy in order to make your first one better, uh, and you've filled the bar, you hit apply fusion, and there's an extra cost besides the destruction of some of your skills, and that's a monetary cost that slowly gets better or slowly, not better, it slowly gets uh, increases. So there, I fused two flechettes together to make a level one flechette, 
and the mod cost goes up, but now I get 30% armor piercing damage instead of 15%. So, um, and it also destroyed one of my flechettes. Very sad. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you also, uh, m could consider using fusion cores behind using, um, other unrelated skills because they're just as effective as related skills or skills in the same class and they also um, they're not used for anything else you can't equip them you can't use them to make items so yeah get rid of them um, so that's fusion the last thing to remember when you're fusing something is to make sure that it's the, the mod that you're trying to improve is not equipped to anything currently. Like, if I wanted to upgrade my pressure point that's equipped to my sword right now, I would need to de-equip it, hit apply, blah blah blah, and go back into my mods list. Otherwise, it will not show up. Um... So yeah, that's... That's fusion, and now on to the foundry. So, um... The foundry is where you construct objects out of blueprints. Now the way you get blueprints, as you as these two, they are blueprints. The way you get blueprints is um, during your travels. I'm not sure if it's entirely true, but I think it's only bosses that will draw blueprints. But um, you can find them just exploring and playing the game, and they'll drop randomly. Or... Um, you can purchase some in the market. So if you go to weapons... Doo -doo -doo, see? Blueprints. They sell them. And after you have the blueprint that you want, and you want to make, you go into here, and the blueprint will appear, and it'll list out the entire cost of it. If you hover over the different things, it'll tell you, if you don't have it, where to get it, or give you a hint of where to get it. Like, see? Infested. I have to go kill infested people in order to get this. Or... Grinniers. I have to go fight some Grinniers in order to get ferrite. So, um, and if the, it is a material that doesn't really give you a hint, like ancient cell from the Orican area, or an amorphous solid, possibly Orican technology, the way you find out where to find those, another easy way, is you go to this map, and if you look in the upper right hand corner, it gives you a uh, just a survey of what all the materials you can find here are. So you can go hunt down the elusive circuits, for example, that are eluding you and preventing you from making your new super awesome bow. So that's how that works. Um, besides the, the raw material cost, there's also a monetary cost, like to make my Cronus, it costs 1500 or 15000 I'm sorry. And um, there's also a time thing, so once I hit build, I'm not going to right now because A, I don't have enough money, and B, I already have a Cronus that I'm using, so there's no point to make another one. There's also a time cost uh, also associated with the thing, so when I hit build, uh, it will take me 12 hours to make it. So, um, yeah, the... Benefit of blueprints is there's a lot of weapons that you can't buy through the arsenal. Like the Cronus isn't available whatsoever. I had to find the blueprint for it to make it, which was dropped by the first boss. And um, if you go into the different weapons, uh, some weapons like the Viper, the Balto, etc., are only available through either the premium points, which I'm not going to pay to have a cool weapon in this one. Or you go to the market and I believe most of the weapons in the arsenal can be bought via blueprint. Yep, see the Viper, the Kraken, etc. Those are all able to be bought as blueprints and then made. So, yeah, that's um that's the foundry and modding your skills so if you have any questions um feel free to ask and we'll be sure to get around to answering them uh like and favorite if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more of the same and have a fantastic day